All new at 5 o'clock tonight, a Glenn County grand jury today has indicted three men on nine charges each for the murder of Ahmaud Arbery. Travis McMichael and his father Greg and also William Roddy Bryan all face charges now, including murder and aggravated assault and false imprisonment. On your side's Kaylee Tracy has spent the day today in Glenn County and has this report for us tonight. Tracy. Yeah, Jeannie, Cobb County DA Joyette Holmes, who now is in charge of this case. Today, she called it another positive and great step for justice for Ahmaud Arbery. As far as next steps, she said she anticipates the defense will file motions related to the new indictments and said the prosecutors will answer to that as the judge schedules things related to that and she will move forward with the case. Holmes says the grand jury today arrived at 930 this morning. It was already in place prior to the judicial emergency order related to COVID-19. Holmes says the jury was able to abide by the CDC's guidelines today and heard the facts and evidence of the case. This comes a day after the state's hate crime bill was passed, most likely to bear Arbery's name. The family was ecstatic to hear that it had happened this morning. Of course, with everything that's going on just around the country, with the judicial emergency that's in place, they had no idea when some of the next steps would happen after the last preliminary hearing. So to get that phone call that we were able to call in a grand jury and to do it safely and that they returned a true bill, they were extremely happy about that. The attorney for William Roddy Bryan, he spoke today after the DA and he said that he wants, uh, that is the man who filmed the video of Arbery's death, that he said he won't, wants Holmes to have a consent bond for his client. Also speaking today, uh, the attorney for Travis McMichael issuing a statement responding in part reading, the grand jury never heard the evidence the defense has in this case and the district attorney never sought from us any input on what to present to the grand jury, and that's unfortunate, end quote. We'll have more tonight at 6, but for now, reporting live in Glynn County, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side.